G'day from Miami, and I'm on board a Tap Air flight to Lisbon, and then another one on to Bologna today. Now, straight up, I'm impressed with the seat, and even more so impressed with the price, but I'll get into that in more detail later. First up, let's go back a few hours to when I was having a few dramas with Avis returning my car. If I drop it back to the airport today, which I'm, I want to do, what is the fee? The system not show me the price because you have the, uh, uh, overview the car. If I drop it back to the airport, it's going to put a fee on there. I just want to know the fee. Change, 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 change. yes. I've got a rental. Uh, I picked it up from Aventura and I want to drop it back today at the airport. When I picked the car up, I said, is there a relocation fee? And the guy said $25. So I rang today just to confirm that. So I want you to tell me what the one-way fee is. Is it the $25 that he told me? So the reason the individual was not able to provide you with a total because your drop-off date was scheduled for the 6th of May. Yep. It is now the 12th of May. That's right. Can you confirm what you guys already told me? I'm able to provide you with that yep. as your drop-off date has yep. already passed. Probably need to get a manager involved. I just want to know what the fee is to drop the car back to the airport. Based on the system that we have, we're not able to provide you with the accurate uh, drop-off fee for the location. When I get there, will they tell me the drop-off fee? They will provide you with the information. Yes, they can do so. It is just such hard work dealing with rental car companies. They're clueless. Well, I've dropped it back to the airport and the guy who told me $25 one-way fee was indeed wrong. There's no fee. Go figure. They could have said on the phone, oh, there's no fee. And I would have been joyful and patting him on the back. But instead, I get the runaround and I end up with this sour taste in my mouth. Now I've got to catch the train to the international airport. Well, Tap Air flies out of Concourse J and the walk from the people mover to here is every bit of 600 metres, but there is a premium check-in line. Check-in was swift and delightful. They did actually weigh my carry-on, which is unusual, but uh, no problem at all. It uh, complied with their regulations. Well, it was a few minutes to get through security. Staff were typically uh, disinterested, but then again, it's not a very exciting job. Now, it's off to the lounge, and you can use the Turkish Airlines lounge if you're going business with Tap Air. Our son graduated UM, woo! Just packed six bags, three years of crap on a plane, and here we are. Not coming back to Miami. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is a pretty basic sort of lounge. The food offerings are just okay. There is uh, a bar, lots of people drinking Aperol spritz, a small selection of spirits, and over there is a view out over the apron. It's functional, but it's not gonna win any awards. And there's a room here for people who wanna sit on short stools with short tables. Right, we're heading on board this Airbus A330-900 NEO, and I think you're gonna like the seat. Well, I think I'm gonna like it, but I think you'll like hearing about it. Well, I'm safely ensconced in 2H. It is the very front seat on the right-hand side of the aircraft. And what I like about this seat is it has a wide opening here. If I get the seat behind me, that has a very tight entry, so I'm more than happy with this one. Now this aircraft's um, just under six years old, and it has Recaro seats. Now Recaro is a German manufacturer, and I was always aware of their race car seats, and I think they also provide seats for uh, football matches, or soccer matches, down on the players' bench, but they actually are in the business now of making airline suites, and these seats are worth over $100,000. There are 34 seats here in business and 264 in economy. And it's been a long time since I've flown tap here, but let's have a look at the seat. There is a very colorful amenities kit. That is hand cream, earplugs, toothbrush, a colorful eye mask, and a pair of socks. Not the greatest amenities kit, but this is exceptionally good value, this flight. It's a seven and a half hour flight. We are going to have dinner first up. And these are our choices for main course. I have selected the beef. And the reason I chose this airline was, uh, A, they flew to Bologna and there's not too many that do. It was a good connection. And the price, 2,500 US dollars for 10 odd hours in the air. That's pretty good value. Storage wise, there's not a great deal in this suite. I've got a little bit of stuff in here. And down here I can fit my phone and a couple of other things. But there's plenty of overhead lockers available. And unusually, they're at a slant. They're at probably a 10 degree slant. Normally they're flat. I fly quite a bit and I've never sat in a Recaro seat but straight up it's comfortable here and I think in the lie flat which I'll get into a little bit later it'll be uh, certainly comfortable, maybe brilliant, but leg room wise there's plenty. I've just 
tested this in the reclined position, both fully flat and semi-reclined, and it's quite a lovely seat. And this pillow behind is also surprisingly comfortable. And this button down here is a lumbar support, so you can raise it or lower it, have it further out towards your back or completely back inside the seat. We're about 35 minutes into the flight and I've been offered a sparkling wine, which I've gladly accepted, along with some lovely nuts. And it's not just your standard cashews, there were um, a number of macadamias and what's that one? These nuts. Oh, and this. Okay, hang on. Palatable, bubbly, cold, pleasing to the mouth. So far, so good. It took me some time to find the in-seat power sockets. They are just down here to my right. And next to the power, there is a socket for the headphones and also a USB socket. Well, I can tell you the meal was on point. It started off with some prawns with a sweet corn flan and had it not have had cilantro in it I would have raved but it was still good just had to pick out the cilantro but the beef was stunning for an, for an airline piece of steak that's no mean feat it had a herb butter on it and the vegetables were excellent the bread roll was good and the butter was even better and I did try both of the red wines but they're lost on me there was an extra mushroom ravioli so I had that as well and that was bloody good well, I'm gonna give the steak 8.2 out of 10. For an airline meal, it was right up there. Oh, and for dessert, fruit, cheese, and ice cream. Stunning. In fact, I'm gonna go as far as saying that is probably the best business class flight meal I've had all this year. Well done, Tap. I can tell you that it was one of the best business class flights I've ever taken. The meal, stunning. The seat was amazingly comfortable to sleep on. If we'd had a centimetre thick mattress, that would have been immaculate. I'm in TAP Air Portugal's main lounge here in Lisbon Airport and it's nice and bright. And thankfully, it's not bloody 26 degrees. Breakfast spreads okay. They have a full bar and you can get a drink at 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm not sure too many people should be drinking at that hour. And this is just the ideal layover because it's all of about 25 minutes in this lounge before I go to board my next and final flight for this trip to Bologna. This Airbus is five years old, has 186 seats, but six of them are blocked out for the business class cabin. If you want to stretch your legs out though, probably row two or three is better. And yes, this aircraft does come with in-seat power. We're about halfway to Bologna and I've finished off um, a breakfast, which was pleasant. Had a little sleep, watched half a movie, and I'm very keen to get into this hotel room, having been on the go for about 14 hours. Thanks, guys. Goodbye, thank you very much. Safely on the ground in Bologna and the joys of landing into a small airport. Short walk to the baggage carousel, and I would imagine our luggage will be off pretty quickly. Well done to TAP. I'm a convert of theirs. I think uh, I will look for more opportunities to travel with them, especially on that uh, A330 with the beautiful Recaro seats. Well, I've picked up my car, but it's not the one I wanted. I booked a Maserati Ghibli, and I thought that'd be nice to fang around the countryside here in um, Bologna for a day or so, but it's not too bad though. I've got a Mercedes AMG of some sort. We've got a bit of poke to it and uh, certainly looks snazzy. It took me a long time to work out how to change the gears and where the park brake was, but uh, we're in business now. That was incredibly difficult to find this place, but I have managed to find it. It's right in the center of this city. This is the Hotel Commercianti. Ciao. Buongiorno. Well, this is truly remarkable. It's right in the heart of Bologna, the Comacanti Hotel. And it's a big, big apartment. And while the hotel does have normal rooms, this is one of three in this section of the hotel that are decorated in great color and style. 
When I pick a hotel, I'm typically looking for something that's a bit out of the ordinary, that has some style elements to it, and I think this one certainly ticks all of those boxes. Yes, there's a small mini bar, there's coffee and tea making facilities, and even a couple of suites on the bed here. It even has a small balcony that allows me to get out here and connect to the real world, the world of Bologna, which is a beautiful small city. And tomorrow, I'm heading out to the Ferrari headquarters at Maranello, which should be an interesting afternoon. Bologna is such a nice place, especially around this time of night, dusk, everybody's eating out on the street. The food and drink are good value. The only downside is these hawkers that just come from table to table trying to sell you shit. But if you can get past that, you will love it here. Anyway, both of us have other things to do, so if before you leave you could subscribe, I'd appreciate that if you haven't already done so, and like this video and for a whole lot more F1 content and merchandise check there thanks for watching and stay passionate in order to get you to the correct department I have a few questions I need to ask before transferring you oh, what a joy Which, let me get some information so I can quickly extend your rental oh.